Hey everybody, welcome back to Vegas Tips and Tricks number 90. Just 10 shows left in our series and what will come after? Well, stay tuned. Just a few weeks, we'll have a big announcement coming up about what's going to take the place of the Wednesday show, our, our series on Vegas resorts. I thought about doing today's video in a car because it's another one of those properties we're going to talk about today that you kind of need a car because uh, it's a long ways off the strip. And today's resort is one of my sort of, I don't know, I guess you'd say maybe guilty pleasures, a, a resort that I've only been to a handful of times, uh, never stayed there, uh, but I've always liked uh, for whatever reason, and that's Sam's Town, uh, built way back in the late 1970s at the intersection of Boulder Highway and Flamingo Road, and it's way, way out east. Uh, um, it's a long, long hike. It's probably a 20-minute drive from the Strip, something like that. Um, so it's not really close to anything. There are a few other properties on Boulder Highway, but and Boulder Highway is not really the most mm, salubrious neighborhood in Las Vegas, shall we say. But I've always liked Sam's Town. Um, it was really one of the very first, you might call it, locals casinos, um, and it was a huge success. It's named after Sam Boyd, uh, the man who created the Boyd uh, Gaming Empire. His first properties were downtown, the Cal, and he acquired later the Fremont. Uh, but Sam's Town was kind of his crowning achievement. Uh, like a few other properties over the years, and I guess even currently, think about maybe Silverton, South Point, think about the old uh, you know, Frontier. Uh, it has kind of a Western theme. There's kind of a Western store uh, built into the property. Um, it really appeals to sort of the low roller. They've always had really good video poker at sort of low limits, even down to nickels, probably not so much anymore. Um, but it's just a place that has a fair you know, game. Uh, it also has what I think is one of the coolest features anywhere in Las Vegas, and that is a sort of interior atrium. It's kind of an indoors that's outdoors. Well, it's actually an outdoors that's indoors. Uh, you can kind of sit out there. There's a whole bunch of trees, foliage, some animatronic animals, which come to life from time to time. There's a little show they do once in a while, Mystic Falls. Um, and just a great place to just kind of relax in Las Vegas. There's a bar there, you can have a beer or whatever, and just kind of get away from it all. It's nice and quiet. Again, feels like you're outside, but there's AC. Again, Sam's Town is a long ways away from the Strip. The rooms here are nothing to write home about, but they're fine. Uh, you know, if you've stayed at any other Boyd property, you're going to get kind of the idea of what you've got. Some of them do have a view of that inner courtyard. Um, otherwise, it's just another casino, but if you've never had the opportunity to check it out, I'd recommend that you do so. Maybe even spend a night or two there, particularly if you've got a car. All right, we'll be back on Saturday with a very special episode of Vegas Tips and Tricks Weekly. We'll be back next week with another off-strip resort. And until then, I hope you all have a great, lucky, and healthy week. We'll see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.